holy apostles we are back doing our announcement video and obviously we're doing this video a day early because of hurricane milton and i do want to say a couple things about hurricane milton um as we go through these announcements but i just just wanted you to know the things that are going on at holy apostles and uh and some of the hurricane stuff that i think is important for us to know as the body of believers known as holy apostles so let's jump into these announcements and um, get going from there so let me let me get them up and we will get rolling all right so these uh, obviously are our announcement videos um the first thing that i wanted to first thing that I wanted to bring up was just we did have our pet blessing uh, last Saturday and it was a lot of fun a great group of people showed up and special uh, shout out to Hannah for actually arranging some horses which was pretty cool I absolutely loved it but we had we had some horses we had a guinea pig we had a ferret we had some lizards a lot of dogs we had a lot of dogs so um, and then also I did want to uh, just say thank you to Deacon Elizabeth. Um, she is the one who primarily runs this, organizes everything, gets everything set up, and she did a fantastic job as she always does. So thank you, Deacon Elizabeth. And again, thank you, Hannah. Um, that was ab absolutely incredible. If you didn't make it this year, consider consider coming next year. We do it every year um, in October, usually the beginning of October. We would love to bless your pets and it's just a it's a fun uh, thing to do but it also um, builds community and relationships and I love that part of it uh, we did have to cancel our men's group this week so men's group is not happening that was supposed to be happening in about five hours from now but in order for you to do the hurricane preparations that I think you need to do, uh, we decided to cancel the men's group. Not cancel, really, just postpone it till next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, we will be doing men's group, although the location, I think, is going to be a little bit different. We, I have two options now. Um, and then both options I think are pretty good. I'll figure out which option we're going to go with uh, for this week, for this Tuesday coming up. And I'll let you know as soon as I know. Today is probably not the best day for me to ask if we can have a group there. They're busy uh, figuring out other things. But I will get that information to you pretty quickly. Uh, the women's group also is getting pushed back because because the men's group got pushed back. So the women's group is now October 22nd, still at Sarah Day's home at 6.30, where the men's group is at 6. Um, but both of those are, uh, we're, we're preparing to have uh, kind of as normal, except they're, they're pushed back one week each. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, our Sunday services, we are uh, anticipating they will be as normal. Um, that uh, we will have Sunday services just like we normally do with Christian formation before them. The Christian formation is the third great awakening. That starts at 8.30. We would love for you to join us. You might not have power. We might not have power. Uh, who knows? Um, but uh, we are planning to have those services and um uh, that Christian formation as as normal, 8.30. Uh, the third Great Awakening is going to introduce you to some other interesting figures. We're going to be looking at uh, uh, men like D.L. Moody, as well as um, um, Charles Spurgeon. Uh, some very interesting figures. It's an interesting awakening as well. And I've really enjoyed this series so far. So, um, I, you know, please consider joining us. I know 8.30 is early, but uh, I, try and make, I try and make these worth it for you. Uh, you're going to get up early. I try and make it worth it. So, uh, I think that, that we've done a pretty good job on the first two. We're going to try and bang out this third one here this week. Uh, services 
are, like I said, as normal. So we're planning on having Sunday service at 9.30 in the parish hall. We only have one service because of the construction going on anyways, but that service is scheduled to be as normal. So if you can make it, we would love for you to join us. I do realize that quite a few people may still be out of town because of the hurricane and things like that. So I do understand that. But if you're in town and, um, and, and you're available, please consider joining us for Christian formation as well as our service on Sunday. As far as the sermon, I'm going to be preaching on Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 through I think it's 16. Um, these are really fascinating verses talking about the power of God's word. Um, and, you know, sometimes when you read about these, it, it can be quite terrifying. And I think these verses are meant to be terrifying, but the latter part is meant to bring you comfort as well. Um, so uh, we're going to be looking at the first part, the scary part, as well as the second part, the comfort. Because oftentimes what you find in scripture are... Um, good news, bad news. <laughs> here's, here's the bad news or here's the scary stuff. And, but then here's the good news. Here's the grace and mercy of God. And that's what we're going to be looking at. And I, I absolutely love these verses. I'd encourage you to read them ahead of time. Um, you might have time. <laughs> you might not have power on, you might not be able to watch TV. You might not be able to, um, you know, scroll online, do the things that you do. Uh, grab your Bible, open up to Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 through 16. Give them a read. I think you'll find um, them both terrifying and comforting at the same time. Um, but I'm going to unpack that on Sunday, and I'm excited to do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is the open plate this coming Sunday will go towards Lauren and Linda Fox and their work as missionaries over in Asia. They're doing tremendous work over there. I am blessed and honored to be um, supporters of theirs, both um, for, as holy apostles, but also personally. we, Michelle and I personally, financially support them. We believe in the work that they're doing over there. So just a reminder, the open plate will go towards their ministry. We have committed to supporting them as a church through prayer, uh, and anything that we can actually do, which does include financial support. So we are financial supporters of their ministry as well. And we do that through our opening plate once a year. So keep that in mind. It's this Sunday. Um, also, I did want to talk a little bit about the hurricane. And I know that you're watching the news and everybody's giving you really good wisdom out there. Um, and so uh, all that I want to say on that end is just be smart, be wise, do what you need to do, get it done uh, and get where you need to be. You don't want to be traveling uh, in the middle of a hurricane. Um, make a decision. You're staying, you're going and and. and and, and stay or go, um, but do the things that you need to do to be safe during this. Look, it, right now it's a, I believe it's still a category five, probably going to weaken before it hits land. Um, thinking that it's going to hit land probably around a category three, maybe even a category four for Tampa. That's probably going to be quite devastating for that area. But as it moves across Florida and reaches us, it's still probably going to be like somewhere around a category one or a really strong um, tropical storm or a weak um, category two. But, but it still looks to be like it's going to be a significant storm when it hits us. So be safe um, out there. And But the main thing that I wanted to share with you is that we are a, a body of believers. Um, Holy Apostles is not just a, co a loose collection of people who decided to worship here. We're family. Um, and we're going to be here on the other end of this storm. Uh, we're going to be making calls, making sure you're okay. We're going to be gathering people to help clean up the church so that we can have services on Sunday. But we also want to know, you know, 
people there may be needs that people have out there let us know um if you still have self-service um, get in touch with us if you still have um power uh send us an email however you can get in touch with us i know that power might go down i know that self-service might go down but if those things are available to you reach out let us know we're gonna be um uh, getting a group of people up and running to uh, check on different people, make sure our people are okay. You're not going through this alone. You're going through it with a body of believers as well as Jesus Christ. And uh, and I know that we can minimize the you know the idea that uh, that Jesus Christ goes with us through this, but don't do that. Uh, he's a living, active God. You're never alone in things. Reach out to him, pray, um, ask him to come along your side. I, you know, at the end of the day, we're most likely we're going to be fine. Um, but you do want to make sure um, that you are doing everything you need to do to put yourself in the best position possible. And don't forget that you are part of of holy apostles um and so uh if there's real needs out there we're going to get people to come alongside um and uh and help however we can uh we're here we're walking through this and uh and my expectation is on sunday we're going to gather in that church and celebrate um that we made it through uh with uh minimal minimal damage um but we also want to approach the storm as seriously as possible. The last thing I wanted to say on the storm is I just wanted to offer a prayer um, for the people of Tampa as well as us on this side of Florida. So please uh, join with me in prayer. Lord, we come before you and we lift up um, everyone in Florida that is facing this storm. We ask that you would give us wisdom to know what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Uh, we ask that you would give us the strength to actually be able to do the things that we need to do. We ask that you would calm our fears, that you would bring comfort to us, that you would remind us that you are a God who has calmed storms in the past and can calm storms now. We ask that you would remind us that you are a God who has come to his people and lifted them out of hardship and struggle and difficulties and can do that here, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would be um, with all of us as we walk through this and, um, and that your grace and your mercy and your comfort would be an anchor that we would hold on to. And we ask this all in your name. Amen. Uh, the last thing that I did want to say before I round out these videos is it does look like the storm has a very real potential of setting us back on rally day, making rally day more November 10th than November 3rd. And as much as I hate that, it is a minor inconvenience compared to what some people are going to be facing in this storm. But it does appear as though Rally Day may be pushed back. We're not 100% sure about that, but it does appear it is looking more and more like the most likely scenario. Um, that's what I got for you. Be safe um, and uh, and know that we are praying for you and that there, there's a whole family of believers that are going to come alongside you and help you in any hardship that this storm has caused. Um, again, um, I'm going to see you on Sunday and we're, we're on the other side of this and we're going to be praising God. That's what I got for you today. Be safe.